research on that. We said it was going to be brief, right? Anyway, Numbers 2 and 2. In, in the book of Numbers in the Bible, chapter 2, verse 2, it says, Every man of the children of Israel shall pitch by his own standard. Now, a standard doesn't mean pitch by your own opinion or your own morality or something like that. No, it's pitch by his own standard with the ensign of their father's house. Ensign, you understand, means the, the image or the logo that each tribe, each of the 12 tribes, Israel had their own particular logo. The tribe of Judah used the lion of Judah as its ensign on its standard, much like this flag here, the Imperial Ethiopian flag, uses and utilizes the ensign of the Moa Anbesa, the Moa Anbesa Arma, on its uh, Sendek Alama. All right, and it goes on the scripture in Numbers 2 2. It goes on to say, Far off about the tabernacle of the congregation shall they pitch. Now, this is very important because we are diligent to keep a separation between the holy, you understand, and that which, even though it's holy, may be profaned by the ignorant and the unlettered and the unlearned, it says right here that they would pitch their standard with their ensign, the ensign of their father's house, far off about the Dinquan, far off about the Mishkan, far off about the tabernacle of the congregation. Now this particular flag, the biblical history of the imperial flag is summed up in our next quote, Isaiah chapter 5 verse 26, and it reads, and he will lift up a an ensign, an ensign to the nations from far. He will lift up an ensign to the nations from far and will hiss to them from the end of the earth. And behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. Behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. And not only that, but there's a couple of other verses. You can look this up for yourself. A couple other verses in the scriptures concerning ensign, which you may find interesting. At least eight verses from Numbers to Zechariah, Zechariah 9, 16, such as Isaiah 11 and 10. And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. And it shall, to it, excuse me, to it shall the Gentile seek, and his rest shall be glorious. This is concerning the imperial Ethiopian flag. This is concerning the Sendek Alama, concerning the Yehuda Moan Besa Arma, which is our imperial Ethiopian flag, as well as the 12th verse of Isaiah chapter 11. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. It is through the Rastafari movement, generally speaking. It's through that message and that proclamation of Haile Selassie and the blameless Ethiopians that the outcasts of Israel, the dispersed of Yehuda from the four corners of the earth are being gathered. Isaiah 18 and 3 goes on to say as well, it says, All ye inhabitants of the world and dwellers on the earth, see ye when he lift up an ensign on the mountains, on the Ethiopian highlands, the Ethiopian mountains, and when he bloweth a trumpet, hear ye. Hear ye the teachings of his imperial majesty. And it goes on in Isaiah 30 and 17. It says, 1,000 shall flee at the rebuke of one. At the rebuke of five shall ye flee, till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain and as an ensign on an hill. If you understand Ethiopian history, um, this should be kind of clear, basically, to you. Um, Isaiah 31 and 9, it says, And he shall pass over to his stronghold for fear, and his princes shall be afraid of the ensign, saith Yahweh, 
whose fire is in Zion, and his furnace is in Jerusalem. And lastly, but not leastly, is Zechariah chapter 9, verse 16. And it says this, And Yahweh, the Elohim, shall save them in that day as the flock of his people. For they shall be as the stones of a crown, lifted up as an ensign upon his land. So this is a, a brief history of the imperial Ethiopian flag, this flag in particular. Now, if you want to connect it later on in Ethiopia with the history of the three colors for the three provinces, the, the, the red, the, the yellow, and the green, and the original um, version of the of the banner being put together had red up on top, but then immediately in the time of Menelik, the green was put up on top for the three different, you know, for the Ormo, for the Amhara, and for the Tigray, respectively. Green from the top, green, yellow, and red. Red being on the bottom, so it's the first color from the bottom. But originally, some say that it was red that was on top for the um, Tigray. But as the Amhara and the Ormo came more to um, supremacy within the southern kingdom, the green on top for the Ormo, or pseudo gala, but really more correctly, the Ormo. Then you have the yellow for the Amhara, and then you have the red for the Tigray. So that's a brief history, but it's all based on numbers, the Bible, the biblical history of the Beta Israel, the black Hebrew Israelites, and that's clear from Numbers 2 and 2. Isaiah 5 and 26, and the other six verses as well concerning ensign should add some ensign and standard. Look up both those words. We just touched on ensign, but also look up, look up standard. So when people come to you and they talk about because there's a lion on the flag, this is a, a graven image. Tell them to go look up the word graven and to understand that in context. And if they're like Pharaoh, when you make a quote from the Bible, you should at least quote exactly where you're referring to because if we went to your particular quote on the Bible, Exodus 24, we would not find the commandments, but we would actually find something else, which is interesting too, but that's not correct.